the rugged alpine landscapes of North America, a charismatic and resilient creature known as the Marmot emerges as a symbol of high-altitude wilderness. Marmots belonging to the ground squirrel family are robust rodents that have adapted to life in the challenging environments of the mountainous regions. Their stout bodies are covered in dense fur, providing insulation against the biting cold of their alpine habitats. With a distinctive coat ranging from shades of brown to gray, marmots blend seamlessly into the rocky terrain, their fur serving as both camouflage and protection from the elements. These social animals are- am I muted? No, I'm not. Okay. These social animals are often spotted basking in the sun on rocky outcrops, their vigilant eyes scanning the surroundings for potential predators. Marmots are excellent climbers and skilled excavators, utilizing their strong claws and powerful limbs to navigate steep slopes and construct elaborate burrows. As herbivores, they feast on a diet consistently main, main, consisting mainly of grasses, wildflowers, and herbs showcasing a remarkable ability to sustain themselves in some of the harshest environments on Earth. In this alpine symphony, marmots play a vital role in the delicate balance of mountain ecosystems, contributing to the rich tapestry of life in these remote and breathtaking landscapes. No, don't look at that! Don't look at that! Subscribe to my channel, not theirs! Subscribe to my channel, not theirs! Mine! Mine! Not theirs! Don't look at that! Okay. That's me. That's... that's me. <laughs> there I am! This is family footage. <laughs> I didn't realize I was watching the Pipscovery channel! Yeah, now you know. Tell some Ted, thank you. Marmotkin, love. Odwin, thank you. Marmotkin, my beloved. There I am. There I am. Oh, man. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marmotkin. Marmotta. Mar- 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 Marmotta? Mar- Ah! Tell me when it's gone! Rogue Jen, thank you! Pixie Mesa, thank you! Oh my god, it's Pipkin Pippa Burrow! Is it gone? Oh, fuck! Oh, Kirko, thank you! Wait, this isn't Capapara! Damn, thank you, best me to Romoli is Rock Thank you, damn, you got fat! What the hell? Yeah, eat the fox, not me! Rusty Nail, thank you. Marvin Kim, my new Oshi. Epsico, thank you. I've had to go corporal because of all the donors it took me to make one joke! You owe me a rat! This is- this is a picture of my childhood home. This is where I once lived. This is where I grew up. Leonardo, thank you. Is Marmot Kinney SL? No. Ross, thank you. Winhong Toki, thank you. I'm not even Rooster, thank you. Mace Okati. Paulo Benedetti, thank you. Hell, thank you. Hey, Marmot Kin, have you met Papossum? She does comedy for the channel. Oh, I got jokes! You like jokes? You guys like jokes? You guys- you guys like jokes? Huh? Who wants to hear some jokes? Who wants to hear some jokes? Oh no? What do you mean, oh no? Walk into a bar! <laughs> what's a- what's a marmot's favorite game? What's a- what's a marmot's favorite game? And squeak! Marmopoly. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, fuck a bird! Oh, don't worry. I just I got rid of the bird. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> hey, don't do it to me! Oh, god, it's still there! It's still there! It's okay. We're safe now. Where's that? Oh, god, another bird! Help me! Help me! It's gonna eat me! There we go. Oh, that's a tiny bird. It can't do shit. See, I can eat that bird. But I won't, because I'm a herbivore. 
<laughs> I'm out everywhere. I'm safe. God, isn't this majestic? Doesn't this feel majestic, chat? Don't you feel like you're in a nature documentary right now? Taste of chicken. Yes? No? What do you call a marmot with good manners? I keep grabbing the wrong thing. What do you call what do you call a marmot with good manners? Upset. What? Jimmy. Dead. Gentle Mar. No. Pa light! Tushka, thank you. My joke is overlooked again. My money. I didn't see your joke. I'm sorry. I... Sorry. Graduate... I don't get it. It's like paw. Because marmots have... We have paws. Marmots have paws. Squishy, thank you. Do it sometimes. You're so cute and adorable. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. I'm always cute and adorable. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of more puns. Marmot King, can you scream for us like in that meme video? Ah! 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 Look, that one's screaming in the background. Is there audio on that? The boss or inviting. Hold on. To prevent misunderstandings. When a marmot wags its tail, it's saying, I am the dominant male in this neighborhood. That's me. I'm the dominant male in this neighborhood. Where are they? Thank you. First year, member that the cutest bunny. Beep, 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 beep. Here's the start to another year. Beep, beep. Brian Carlisle, thank you. Bunga, 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 bunga. Thank you. Boo, get off the planes. Ah! Aha! So, let's talk about some stuff. What is a marmot? Not this. I saw some confusion. I saw some confusion and I would like to clarify. This is a gopher. This is not a marmot. It's very different. As you can tell. Very different. The possibly insane, thank you. What do marmots like on their pancakes? Marmot laid! Ah! <laughs> Hell yeah. What is a marmot? Not this. This is a clothing brand called Marmot. Don't get it confused. And I, I do not I do not own this brand. This is the Wikipedia page for a Marmot. You can go read it. I'm not gonna read it. Here's a cool ass article that talks about marmots and how cool marmots are. They killed their own parents, children, and neighbors. Now life is even worse for the vicious alpine marmot. And this is a very real picture of me about to fuck up a fox or some shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. A hit piece? Not a hit piece. This is a threat. This is a warning. Don't you fuck with us. Fez, thank you for becoming a big peepee. Marmots have long been beloved mountain inhabitants. This Himalayan marmot specimen was photographed in China's Kilian Mountains, encountering a fox as it left it. Whatever. Kilian? I don't know. Whatever. The climb. The ecologist Christoph Bodenfant strides down the mountainside in a metal cage stripped. Get to the point, but this looks like Steven Spielberg. This guy looks like Steven Spielberg, chat. Doesn't he? Chilean. Okay. Doesn't this guy look like Steven Spielberg? Holy shit. You're face blind? No, I'm not. This is literally... Oh, wait. George Lu George Lucas! George Lucas! That's what I'm thinking of! George Lucas! The Star Wars guy! That's him. Look at these cool-ass marmot photos. Alpine marmots and their unending struggle for dominance. I don't have to struggle. I'm I'm naturally a very dominant person. I'm very I'm very domineering. People naturally cower before me. Zenimo, thank you, Pippa. You are the biggest dog in the history of VTubing and that's saying a lot. Excuse me! That must be why you're by Oshi. Bye with love. Listen, buddy. I'm gonna fuck you up. Don't mess with me. 
Or this could be you in this picture. But you're not a marmot. Dad, well, thank you. Just at home and have I been roofied? What the fuck is going on? Don't worry about it. Okay, let's get to the point. Together, Garcia and Bonifan have 30 minutes to bring the marmot down from the mountain. Anesthetize it, measure it, take samples of blood, hair, droppings, revive it, and return it to the site where it was captured. All while avoiding a set of teeth capable of severing a human finger. The clock is ticking. A marmot can lose its territory in less than an hour. When they finish, the marmot will return to its place in a cycle of what Bonifant calls despotic reproduction. The rodents live in family groups with one dominant couple and a clutch of subordinate offspring who help with raising young and providing much-needed body warmth during the long hibernations. Only the dominant pair may reproduce. They bully the other family members into sterility. The youngsters' stress hormones maintained at too high a level to bear young of their own. If a subordinate of either sex wishes to reproduce, they must leave their family group and challenge another dominant marmot for its territory. Or kill their parents. When a marmot wins the battle for new territory, its first act is mass infanticide. The new dominant will kill off that young- that year's young so as to not have to look after them. No investment, no parenting for young that are not his own, Bonifant says. The team calls this war for dominance Game of Burrows. <laughs> Referencing the interfamilial backstabbing and vicious power struggles of a certain prestige television show. <laughs> steal that one. I'm stealing that one. I'm writing that one down. Write that one down, chat! <laughs> Actually, don't write that down. Don't, don't remember that line. I, I want to reuse it on you later. <laughs> out on patrol, Garcia points out a far-flung territory where a brother and sister shacked up and established a new dynasty last year. We call them the Lattice! Data collected from La Grande Sassiera by scientists at the University de Leon since the project began in 1990 have, has provided much of what we know today about the alpine marmot and its despotic ways. It has also revealed that the rapidly warming climate of the Alps is making each season of the Game of Burrows more bloodthirsty than the last. <laughs> Conflicts are increasing and subordinates are leaving their family groups earlier, leading to more fights for dominance. In the age of global heating, marmots are suffering from the same scourge as the nearby ski resorts. Not enough snow. Families rely on a thick layer to insulate their burrows, where they spend half of the year in hibernation. As snow cover gets thinner, the burrows get colder, making marmot pups less likely to survive the winter, even when their families body warmth to help them. Even with her. Today, baby marmots are as likely to die in large family groups as the young of a single dominant pu couple, Bonifant says. That means there are fewer incentives for subordinates to remain loyal. They'll take their chances directly rather than staying in the family group, he says. The consequences are that we see social structures and family groups which are less stable over time. The rise in changeovers and dominant couples leads to in increased infanticides of the marmot pups that do survive the winter. Females are producing smaller litters, which researchers also attribute to the climate crisis. While marmots are not classed as endangered, the cycle is causing the population to steadily drop by 4% a year. Look at this angry bastard! Back on its beat, but the alpine marmot faces a struggle against global heating. Look at how fucking pissed he is. Look at how fucking angry he is. Holy shit, is this real life right now? Yes. The Alps are warming at a faster rate than much of the planet and provide some of the starkest images of the climate emergency. Talk more about the marmots. Oh yeah. Fucking marmots. That's me. Pepper Pratt, thank you. This is my first time being able to watch your live stream. Here's so many more. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good first stream. Good first stream, buddy. Good first stream. <laughs> but here's what you all came here for. Drumbaco, thank you. Hmm, is it just me or does the rabbit look a little different? A haircut? Very strange. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. This is what you guys have been taunting me with. You've been haunting me. Every time I click on something on YouTube, this shit pops up. And you guys all go batshit insane. Well, here it is. Today. Today, we're gonna actually 
click on their catalog. We're gonna... We're gonna learn more. We're gonna get to... We're gonna solve this mystery. We're gonna... We're gonna... Understand what the fuck is going on here. I want to learn everything I can about Exotic Black TV, including why they name themselves Exotic Black. Let's start with our channel section. I adopted a squirrel Marmita Himalaya. I named Marmot Dumpling. I leave one room for Marmot. I will take good care of Marmata Himalaya. Watch the process of nurturing and growing up. Marmot will bring joy and optimism to you when watching and lovely moments of Marmot. Positive regards. Sounds legit to me. <laughs> so Marmata Himalaya. Let's look this up. Himalayan marmot. The Himalayan marmot, Marmata Himalayan, Himalayana, is a marmot species that inhabits alpine grasslands throughout the Himalayas and on the Tibetan plateau. It is IUCN red listed as least concerned because of its wide range and possibly large population. The Himalayan marmot has a dense woolly fur that is rufous gray on the back and rufous yellow on the ears. Belly and limbs. The bridge of its nose and end of tail is dark brown. It is one of the largest marmots in the world, about being about the size of an, a large house cat. Average body mass ranges from 4 to 9.2 kilograms. 8.8 .8 to 20.3 pounds. That's like a medium-sized dog. Holy shit. What the fuck? I mean, they compare it to the size of a large house cat, but that's like a- that's like a fucking dog. What cat is that heavy? With weights, lowest possible hibernation in spring, and low- and highest prior to it in autumn. In the autumn, average weight is reportedly more than 7 kilograms, 15 pounds in both sexes. Total length is about 45 to 67 centimeters, 18 to 26 inches, with a tail length of 12 to 15 centimeters, 4.7 to 5.9 inches. Dr. Shenanigan, thank you. What I want to know is how do marmots taste? How do marmots taste? I don't think you're meant to eat these. I don't- I don't think people really eat marmots. Aaron G, thank you! Marmot Pippa bl over Blonde Pippa over Shippa over Chibi- What the fuck? Hold on one sec. What... Do art do any cultures cultures eat marmots? Okay, we're safe. I wasn't sure if it was gonna like blast the screen with dead animals. I know we saw the dead fox, but sometimes Google gets a little bit gory. Doesn't seem like anybody's really eating them. I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say marmots don't taste so good. They seem like they'd have a lot of fat on them though, you know? Marmot... Marmot recipe... Marmot recipe. Marmot recipes. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey y'all, I just moved from North Carolina to Colorado a couple weeks back. I was hiking about and found a couple places with very robust marmot populations. I got to looking at the regulations and season opens on them this weekend. Has anyone on here eaten marmot? Care to share any recipes? Thanks! Oh shit. Oh fuck. No, first hand experience to share yet, but when I get my first marmot I'm going to try this recipe with it. It's worked well for muskrat and frog. Thank you, I hunt to eat. Seems like I heard something about Russia banning marmot hunting due to the plague! What, what the fuck? Russia cracks down on marmot hunt in plague scare! Oh! Eat us and we shall bring a plague upon you and your brethren! Holy fuck! Help him, thank you. You should open a marmot restaurant in South Louisiana. Cajuns will eat anything. An actual fucking plague? Russia cracks down on marmot hunt in plague scare. This is this is fun. This is fun. I like doing this. I would have I would have never <laughs> I would have never in a million years guessed there was a marmot plague in Russia. 
That shows that they're eating. That does show that they're eating them. That does show. Russian public health officials and police are visiting communities near Mongolia, warning them not to hunt marmots, as at least two people have caught bubonic plague in Mongolia. Holy shit! Oh my god! Don't fuck with me! Don't fuck with me! From eating it, holy shit! The fucking Black Death Chat. That's why it's called Black Exotic TV. Or Exotic Black TV. Oh my god. Some shepherds in Russia's mountainous Altai region traditionally hunt marmots and eat the meat, defying a ban. In Western Mongolia, quarantine has been imposed on Co Co COVID province. A plague case was also confirmed in the neighboring China. Fleas from rats transmitted the medieval Black Death. John McCall, thank you for coming, Big PP. Speckleboxing, thank you. Marmots going medieval on their asses. True. Highly infectious bubonic plague killed about 50 million people across Africa, Asia, and Europe in the 14th century. The bacterial disease was named the Black Death after the dark spoolings or buboes that victims suffered. Today, plague can be treated effectively with antibiotics if caught in time, but left untreated, the fever can kill a victim in a very short time. Russian media report that there have been previous outbreaks of plague in Altai and that the consumption of infected barmit meat is a known transmission route. Oh my god. Lord Selving, thank you. Pleasure to meet you, Marmot Kim. Marta, been lonely around here ever since our Oshi started having long talks with cute girls over remembering the stream. Excuse me? Monkey, thank you. Genghis Khan's revenge, the bubonic plague, and the marmots. What the fuck? Um, the public information campaign in Altai's Koshagak district is being led by the Russian Food Hygiene Agency. Oh my fucking god, dude. What are these names? Uncle Sam, thank you. We always knew you were a child of Nurgle. What is... What is that? Ross Potra Banad, Banadzor. Bro. Bro. What fucking World of Warcraft expansion is this? Holy shit. Leaflets are being distributed in remote communities and a mobile lab for rapid diagnosis has been sent to Tashanta. Oh, thank God, a normal name. Near the border. Most cross-border... Traffic, apart from food deliveries, is already banned because of the coronavirus lockdown. The government in neighboring Tuva, another mountainous region bordering on Mongolia, has also warned citizens of the plague risk and told them not to hunt marmots. How does media think you? She's not... Excuse me? A Tuva government notices the bacteria are spread by fleas which inhabit the fur of rodents, rats, and the meat of marmots, and camels are dangerous to humans. The fucking camels, too? Wait, are they hunting camels in Mongolia? Kondas, thank you. And Russia? Are they hunting camels in Russia? Japan Day Tripper, thank you. Can you talk about marmot dental health care? Seems like it's better than rabbit dental care. Excuse me. Man. They eat camels in Australia? What the fuck? I mean, there's like camel farms and stuff in America, but like you don't like hunt them. Wow. In Peru, they have like the wild llamas, right? Or alpaca. I forget what they are, but they're like non domesticated alpacas. And they like hunt those. What the fuck? A 15 year old boy who ate marmot meat reportedly infected with plague is now in the hospital in Mongolia. In 2016, in Altai, a 10-year-old boy was cured of the plague after eating marmot meat. He had been staying with his shepherd grandfather. Oh, man! Five tubes of boost, thank you! Australia exports camels to Arabia! Really? Seriously? What the hell? Hold on. Hold on. Wild camels, Russia. The Bactrian camel. Whoa! Enraged camel turns on taunting man, tramples him to death in shocking video. I don't think management would like me watching that. On stream. Okay, maybe this? 50 mile an hour winds blowing in from Siberia. David Edinburgh! No, to the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. Oh, thank you. Camels are considered an invasive species 
visit Australia? Are you kidding me right now? I mean, this channel's still up. Whoa! Whoa! Smuggle, thank you. You acted surprised in some places. Hamsters and guinea pigs are food. Yeah, in Papua New Guinea, they eat guinea pigs. Rest in peace. Guineas. Guinea, guinea. From a summer high of 50 degrees centigrade... That's not. ...the temperature in midwinter can drop... Give me the time. Wow. Man, what the hell? Yeah, I was gonna- I was gonna call guinea pigs, like, guinea pig scum. And so I was gonna, like, make fun of guinea pigs, and then I remembered that there's, like, people that are called guineas, and that maybe wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, F9 Hawk, thank you. Black Death was not actually the bubonic plague? Huh? Huh? Real fan, thank you. Hey, Pippa, been watching your streams for over a year now. I don't have much to give, but here's a little something for my rabbit. Oh, she... Actually, I'm a marmot right now. Isn't Guinea a Is Guinea a slur? Is Guinea a slur? What? Is the most vile racial slur that can be- What the hell? What? I had no idea! What?! <laughs> huh? Ask Punko! Hold on. Hold on. Start a conversation. Punko. Punko? How would you feel if I called you a... The seal boy, thank you, angry Paco noises. Ah! Ah! <laughs> but, but guinea pigs. Ah! But, she's typing. <laughs> so why would you call me that? Is it? Is it a slur? <laughs> Is this a real thing? Is this like a real slur? Or like... Oh, she said it's better than raccoon though! Do we mean raccoon? In like a racial context? She's laughing! She's laughing! <laughs> I'm gonna send her a link. I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna send her a link. <laughs> I have no idea! But- But Poco! Poco doesn't know either, it seems. Maybe? Oh, it isn't an Italian Italian. It's an Italian American slur. Oh! Oh, well... Hmm. Hmm. I see. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Trigger point, thank you. Ask Kirsha. She's Ital- Wait, is Kirsha actually Italian? I thought she was just like... Yankee. Welcome to thank you. Guinea pigs? Kui? In South America kept this food? <laughs> She's looking over the article. Okay. Okay. Kirsha. Kirsha, how? Kirsha. Fuck. Kir Kir I can't spell her fucking name. Kirsha. How would you feel if I called you a... 
thought you meant guinea pig, bro! Ah! <laughs> Bongo thought I meant guinea pig! <laughs> I had no idea. Maybe I shouldn't have this on screen if it's a slur. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> ah! Maybe. Actually, in hindsight, maybe Googling it on stream was stupid. <laughs> ah! Fuck oh, oh. I can't tell you what Pongo's saying. Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. Kirsch is online. Is she streaming? I swear to God, every time I look at Kirsha, she's fucking streaming. Where'd my music go? There we go. There we go. Fuck all going hard on this list. <laughs> can't or won't? Can't. She do be streaming a lot. She, she's a stream machine. She is a stream machine. Uh, for all, thank you. This was supposed to be the Marmot stream. How did it become Discovering New Slur stream? I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> okay, let's go back to the hunting forum. Uh, the seal boy, thank you. Somewhere out there, fisherman just broke out the cold sun. I'm checking. I keep checking to see if she's if she's responded yet. Okay. Andrew, thank you. 20 out of 10 birthday. Pippa learns a new slur. My friend and I roasted Marmot over an open fire. It was terrible. Then I'll give it a try and report back. Maybe a camp meal and then as a stew of some sort. See if it's edible at all. Been on my list for a while but haven't gone around to it. My intention is to make gumbo with Marmot. Well, gumbo is pretty powerful, chat, right? Like if you if you have Marmot and gumbo... Like, all the other flavors will probably... Will probably drown it out, right? Like... There's so much, like, spice and stuff, you know? Big clack, thank you. The stream is a fever dream! <laughs> King Heavy Meta, thank you. She finished streaming about an hour and a half ago. Oh, she might be, like, winding down or eating. She's probably eating. Hmm. Marmot is supposedly gamey. Did you notice a turn downturn in the population this year over there? We hardly saw any this year. Probably saw 20 last weekend. Again, it was fairly high up. Oh, fairly high. I was over in Poser's area last week. I was curious if you noticed the same thing. I could see their numbers going in cycles. But this is the first year we saw a noticeable change in numbers. Name might think you and the slur can't be any worse than calling your channel Exotic Black. Yeah, we did get kind of distracted from Exotic Black TV. Maybe we should... Maybe we should come back to this rabbit hole. Marmot hole? Mar... Mar... Venture? This year, thank you. I like how in contrast to Possum's gimmick of telling lame puns, my mark... <laughs> it's just like No! No! <laughs> I thought... I thought... Like... I thought... I thought... Guinea... Like, guinea pig? Right? I thought that was the word for, like, people from Papua New Guinea. Not the pig part, but the... I thought, like, Papua New Guinea. So the people from there would... Right? And there's a type of bird called guineas. Oh my god. I'm not racist. She said it again. Oh my god. Yeah, guinea fowl! I'm Kokatsu, thank you. First I was calling people with tinks, and now you're like, calling people with dogs! Ah! Wait, thank you, take off! Ah! Someone take away her shovel! What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, don't worry about it, Pippa. Intent matters. Oh, okay, let's learn about exotic black TV. I'm curious. Let's click oldest. One year ago. Marmot growls at the sound. Wait, they. Wait. Marmots growl? Marmots can growl? Holy shit. Look at this dude. Oh my god. 
He sounds so happy. It doesn't even sound like a growl. Quarkasting he didn't realize we were getting a face reveal stream. That's a growl. I guess so. I guess he's grumpy. He looks so fat. This is what my dog looks like. But she'll growl if you don't pet her. Like if, if my dog comes and sits by you and you don't pet her, she'll growl at you. And then if you ignore her, she'll like push her head underneath your elbow. Or she'll like start like biting at your hand. Not like aggressively, but just like poking at your hand. Or she'll start like licking you. That dog is really needy and annoying. She's cute though. Like this. She's fat and annoying. But cute. Thank you for the raise, you know! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Uh, welcome to the stream! Today we've said racial slurs by accident and uncovered the mystery of marmots and the bubonic plague. I'm glad thank you for the bug giving me! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Look at this fella. Look at him. Look at him. What's he doing? What's he doing? Can I go to the thank you, baby? Thank you, thank you! Dr. Ashton, thank you. I'm sure you're on a mafia list though. Okay. So can we find out... Hold on, wait. That was the first upload. Is there any information? Explore the podcast. Is, I don't think this is a podcast. Hmm, I adopted a Himalayan Marmada. I don't think we care about Marmada. Watch the process of Marmada Himalaya grow up day by day. Best regards. I wonder if we can find any information on them. Hmm. Look at this fat fuck. Why is he so fucking fat? Hey boy Jack, thank you! Just got in, we slurring! Everyone is like, you put your dog on a diet, you psycho! Listen! Listen, she's big boned! Oh my god. Oh my! Thank you. Thanks for all the wonderful content, but it's been fun getting to know you and the rest of the face. Hell yeah, Drumical, thank you. Since slurs by accident. Okay, why? Look at him. He's so fucking fat. Look at how fucking fat this marmot is. Eat your fucking rice cake, you fat fuck. Munch, munch, munch. He he's such a piece of shit! He throws it when he's done! Ah, but look at him! He wants more! What's this fucking issue, man? Why is he such a hateful bastard? Look at him. You want the fucking rice cracker? Yeah, I bet you do. Fat bastard. And you eat your fucking rice cracker. The duality of marmot. They're fattening him up. They're gonna eat him. He's trying his best, Pippa. I don't think this fucker's trying at all. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I wonder... Are there any videos... Of, like... Being taken to, like, the vet or anything? What the fuck? Look at this bastard in his natural habitat. Next blade, thank you. Here she comes. A marmot idol. What is this? He's got a vivarium over here. A... Milk jug? With hay in it? This is where he keeps his hay? Look at- look at this. This is how my dog sleeps. This is exactly how my dog sleeps. The mouth open and everything. What the hell? He looks dead. If I walked in and I saw my marmot sleeping on his back like this, I'd be like, are you dead? Whoa. Here's all I think you are. Italians the only people who have a mean term aimed at them that's entirely... and just an entirely different place. It's really bizarre if you think about it. Um... I feel like this is... I feel like this is something a lot of Asian people experience in other places. ...is getting told to go back to a country that they have no affiliation with. Or getting called a race that they are not. That they have no affiliation with. I don't think it's that uncommon. 
What I'm curious about is why for Italian Americans it ended up being that place in particular. Look at this fat fuck. Look at him. Why'd you wake him up? Why'd you wake him up? Sarah, thank you. It's also just the name of a country in West Africa, actually, not too far. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. I can hug a marmot when it considers me a friend. Click the bathing video! <laughs> so this is the man behind the channel. Is that a French bulldog on his shirt? Look at this fat fucking marmot. Never proud of you, marmot money shop. Look at him. Now! Don't fucking hug me! That's what he's saying. Why <laughs> he looks so pissed off? He's such a jonger, he is! He is so fucking fat, Chet. Are they meant to be this fat? Welcome, then, thank you. I've only received. More? Hmm. That fucking thing. Person who sold his wife, thank you. Stop telling me to go back to China. I don't speak Mandarin. What do you speak? Doctor Shenanigans, thank you. Why does the intro from this channel remind me of an adult website? Also, I still can't get over the name. English. But his name is in other characters. Our Jim is thank you. We're answering the marmot question, guys. What do they speak in Hong Kong? That's where you said you're from, right? The guy from HK. Where do they... Is it Cantonese? Oh! I see, I see. Roland Van Ewen, thank you. It's a common insult to say that Italians... In... Oh! What the hell? We're learning a lot about racism today, chat. Backslash, thank you. Did you know that marmots are the heaviest members of the squirrel family? Marmot facts. Did that... In hint... Sure, why not? Marmot apni aadhi zindgi sokar huzarte hain. Hibernation ke shuru hote hi inki saans lene ki Oh yeah, we're learning. So fi minutes se kam ho kar chaan tak aa jati hai. Or dil ki dharkan 450 fi minutes se kam ho kar chaan tak aa jati hai. Oh yeah, that helped. Oh yeah. अगर आप शारा है रेशम पर पाक चीन सरहद पर आप जरा 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 Hmm. Thirteen incredible marmot facts. You probably did. Wait, wait, wait. This this bitch is just handling this fat fuck. Oh, just some affection. Jorge Valdez, thank you. I was a marmot burger. Cap Spike, thank you. She's just petting oh, him. No, 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 Hey, don't you can't just pick him up. Oh my goodness. You can't just pick oh, him up. Show him to me. This See. is his home. This way. Excuse me. Are these the? Chat, something's going on here. Chat, some, something's going on here. I don't know what the fuck is happening to Mar I think we're watching the domestication of marmots in real time, and we cannot let what happened to fucking wolves happen to marmots. There ain't no goddamn way. There ain't no goddamn way. Hell no, chat. Hell no. This way. Oh my goodness. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. You can't just fucking do this, man. You can't just That's fucking so do this adorable. to my people. Oh, ah! oh my gosh. Yeah. Keep it in your head. Oh my, oh my fucking god. Yeah. Let me get a picture. Don't eat it, brother! Oh god, what the fuck? Chat! Oh 
she's got the fucking marmot plushie. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Citrus, thank you. I want a marmot pet though. No, you don't. Air Gymnast, thank you. What do you mean, your people? Come down, thank you. He's clearly enjoying it. It's fine. It's not fine! Rogue Jet, thank you. The marmots at the park are free. No, they're not. Mega this Golden Gear, thank you. Marmots are free. Chat, just pick them up. Do not pick them up. Do not pick up fucking mar- oh, No, stop eating it, bro! Oh, God. What I saw? Doesn't thank you. I take it. You are a furry now. I am a fucking marmot. Count seven, thank you. Apple money for the yelling woman marmot on screen. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Chat. Tanaka, thank you. At least I want you to know this. But the marmots, you find them free! You can take them all my 458 marmots. No. <gasps> Look at them! There's not a ton of fucking head. He's just eating. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Shit. Prairie dog in his journey to steal towels from a marmot? What? Dude, he's so fucking fat. Chat, have you guys seen... Have you guys seen... Uh, oh, hey, that's me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's me! <laughs> Supreme Boss, I think you have a wolves and dogs are the same species since the offspring can produce and you can double check in 101 anthropology class? Huh? So they're gonna turn marmots into domesticated marmots. It's gonna be bullshit. Click on it. Click on it. Ah! Good talk. thank you. Four months already. P.S. You you're looking extra cute today. Did you do something new? Shut up. Jomco, thank you. Pippa, did you know about the schizo lady who bred thousands of rats and unleashed them on a New York City? That's that's kind of based, actually. Jojo, thank you. She hit the marmot algorithm. It's over. Ah! This is my district now. Ah, uh, potato reader, thank you. So free Mongolia marmot trip. Let's go. What was I gonna look up, chat? What was I gonna look up? Oh! Wait, what was that? Oh, that's so cute. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> chat! This is the old... Chat, this guy is why I log into Facebook still. This guy, he posts on Facebook, like, non-stop. He has a bunch of these videos. It's like little mice living in houses, and he puts out little tables for them. And, oh my god, he has so many of these videos, chat. I didn't know he was also on YouTube. I didn't know... It's just all these! It's just all these! Look! And he gives him stuff, he gives him furniture. Oh, it's like, it's Beatrix Potter style. You know what I mean? Have you seen the hamster obstacle courses? I have, but I don't like those because a lot of them are abusive. Hamsters are very delicate animals. And if you, if you put them, uh, uh, like... Hamsters cannot survive very high of drops. They're not like mice in that they're like very agile and shit. Hamsters are sad fat fucks that die very easily. And so the problem with a lot of those hamster obstacle courses is they'll have like drops and stuff. And even if you cushion them a lot of the time, it's just it's just too much for a hamster. They're fucking pathetic. It's like it's like dropping a dog versus dropping a cat, right? Like ideally you shouldn't be dropping either. But if you drop a cat, they're like more built to withstand that. But if you drop a dog, like, it's really easy for them to get hurt. Like, my stupid-ass dog always insists on, on trying to jump out of the car, right? Like, I open the car door, and I would, like, pick her up to let her out. But she just fucking dive bombs if I'm not careful. And that stupid fuck rolls on her face every time and shit. Like, she's really stupid. Versus, like, a cat. You drop a cat. Cat's like, hell yeah, brother. It's the same thing. Like, mice? Mice can survive the drops and shit. Hamsters? Fucking stupid ass. Stupid ass, weak, pathetic, dumb asses. You know? She's just like her owner? True. Just does not learn. That dog does not fucking learn. That dog does not fucking learn. Tell me what you said about her! Well, it's true! Jeez. AI generated... What the hell is this? AI generated cats in the Cherry Blossoms episode 2. Whoa! That goes hard. Whoa! Okay. Wait, what if I type in AI generated marmot? Cute marmot generated by AI. 
Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, hell yes. Finally, some real fucking content yet. Holy shit. Slow blind and childing. You have ever seen Hampshire the Underwater Hamster Utopia? Yes, I have. That motherfucker is crazy. Yeah, thank you. Put the hate Amy confirmed. I don't! Oh my god. Anyways. A cute marmot generated by AI. Ah! I wanted to show you guys something and then I got distracted. Okay. Uh, Urban Rescue Ranch Ben. Right? Or no, Big Ounce. Big Ounce. Hold on. Chat. Time to take Biggerton over to his little enclosure. I'm gonna go ahead and put Big Ounce in his little enclosure. Look at, look at, look at Big Ounce. Don't poach for today. Big Ounce on the poach Look at Big Ounce. Hooray, Big Ounce is a prairie hooray, dog. Hooray. <laughs> this is how he just stopped. Oh. And then he just sat like this. That's it for now, though, you guys. Look, guys, wow. your teeth are growing back. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good morning, Biberton. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for now. Look at him. Big Ounce and I are going to rehab this squirrel. Look at him. Now look at this fat fuck. Chat? Now, which is basically just a little cousin of the- Chat, look. Look at the difference. And that's Big Ounce. Big is in his name. What's going on with this fat fuck? Look at his little tail wag. Don't you fucking do it! Don't you fucking do it, you son of a bitch! Mango powder, think you rip the gouts! Look at him! You fucking bastard! Oh, he sees! He knows! Oh my god. You're gonna eat that marmot. He is gonna eat that marmot. That's so cute! This <laughs> girl, thank you, his cousin, huge pound! <laughs> Look at this! It's just a thyroid condition. You fucking bastard! Oh, you fat fuck! You can't climb it. <gasps> he fucking climbed in that cage. Holy shit! How did he do that? How did he do that? Okay. Now I will not claim to know a lot about prairie dogs or large rodents. Of any kind. However, I don't. First of all, I don't think that's a healthy weight for that animal. And I hope that, like, it's a rescue and maybe they're actually, like, trying to help him lose weight. Maybe. Secondly, I don't think. I don't think that enclosure, if that's his cage, oh, this motherfucker's doing it again. This motherfucker's doing it again. I don't- I don't think that enclosure is good for a prairie dog, I'm gonna say. That is a bird cage with a wire floor. I don't think- Oh god, he's so fat and stupid. This is the thing with- with birds that you have to be careful about, is like... They can get their heads stuck. And they can... If there's like... Crevices and stuff, they can- they can get- they can get their legs caught and they'll get stuck and shit. For- for this little guy, it seems like there would be the potential of his legs... Getting... Caught in those bars. And him trying to move and potentially breaking something. And just in, additionally to that, like... It's a fucking prairie dog. Like you would, you would, you would think he needs like space to burrow and stuff. You know, you would think he would need first of all a solid floor, but then second of all like space to, to shelter. That's why he's building a floor. The floor should be solid in the pit. Look, there's a second fat fuck. He's so fat. He's so fucking fat. Does he look like he burrows? Man, this is the burrow! Holy shit! They can get under that? That's a big red flag? Um... 
I mean, I don't think them crawling underneath the other cage is necessarily an issue. But with their own enclosure, they should really have solid ground there. And shit to burrow in. Like, I can show you guys, uh... I think with Urban Rescue Ranch, he just has like a, uh... A little bit of a bitey. I don't know if I can find it in particular, but... I know with... For a while, for a while in one of his things, it was like a, uh, it's, it's a fenced off with wood enclosure inside of like a, like a shed. And it's like a bunch of hay and stuff so they can like dig in there and stuff. You know? I don't know when they saw it, but. Click a baby kangaroo! I'm gonna fucking eat him. This guy Here's went the from tutorial. living in this. Throw me. Throw him as high as I can. You're not supposed to bottle feed them. They'll fly all the way back. They be possums. Kevin's attacking that guy. I don't know where they... Skip it about I haven't oh seen boy, this one. I haven't watched him in a while. I haven't watched him in a while, but... The barn enclosure sometimes? Yeah. There was like a... He has like a big barn. And there's that space for them as well. The possums! But yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit suspicious of this, of this channel. Of Exotic Blacks. Let's see, let's see this one. Behind the scenes of the start of the Filming the Marmot video. Look at how chill this motherfucker is. Look at how chill he is. Look at him. What? Aww. Aww. I just realized it's cut off a little bit. There we go. Aww. The marmot is stoned. I... I want to say he's just really chill. But I have no idea. He does not want the mar... Uh, the watermelon. He doesn't want the watermelon. I almost called it Marmamelon. Cute little fella. He's just not in the mood to eat today. He doesn't want it! He doesn't want it! He just wants to chill. Hmm. He just didn't know he wanted it. Dr. Ashton and Ginsen, I swear these guys have like an inflation thing. Hmm. He will finish his watermelon. Hmm. He might be sleepy. He wants it, he's just too lazy to eat it. Oh. What? 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 Look at his mouth hang open! Aww. Aww. I think he likes his belly scratched. Oh. Oh. He chill like that. He's so chill. Marmot scream if they're scared, so I'm pretty sure he's just chilling. Hmm. Rabbits are difficult. The rabbits get scared. There's two modes. And the first one is they'll go like sickle mode on you. And they'll like scratch and bite and try to fucking murder you. And then the second mode for rabbits is they just lock up in fear and start like hyperventilating. I like the spike man, thank you. You stand up and you take your belly scratches! Hmm. Hormones are excellent. I wonder... What the story is... Actually, behind these marmots. Hmm. Like, how did he come to get this marmot? Um, under 
underground reptile. There is this one site that these people ah fuck off. These people sell like uh unique mammals and stuff. These people. I would think if anybody has marmots, it would be these people. Ah, uh, mammals. Mom and baby to toad sloth pair. What the fuck? What the f what the fuck? Chad, do you guys want on a sloth? What the hell? What the fuck? Dwarf porcupine. Prehensile tailed porcupine. Prairie dog. Libyan striped weasel. I love these things. I love these. I I want one of these. I will not buy one of these, but I love these. Metal is trash. Thank you. Only horror lies behind the eyes of marmots. True. Screaming hairy armadillo. Wooly possum. Variegated squirrel. Apaca. Marmoset monkey. Sand cat kittens. W least weasel. Fennec fox. Capybara. Anteater? A Hyrax? Hmm... Hilprazi? Cuscus? Hmm... Hmm... Buy Marmot. Experience with Marmot? They are... Buy Marmot! Pet! Adopt a Marmot? Can you have a marmot as a pet? I live in the UK and want to buy a marmot. Hmm. Whoa! Whoa! Marmot frozen! Frozen! No! No! Join the adopt them. Oh, that one's cute. I guess I'm thinking, what the hell is that chat? Oh. Oh. This music is getting sad. Um, upbeat jazz. There we go. Hmm. Something tells me you don't actually get a marmot. The Marmot Recovery Foundation. Saving a species from extinction one animal at a time. Are these fuckers... Are any marmots... Going extinct? I thought we just learned that they're all least concerned. Filippo, thank you. Mohammed, thank you. If these people really want armadillo, I can go, grab, go outside and grab the one. Canada's most endangered animal. The Vancouver... Nice white on white background, by the way. White text on white background. The Vancouver Island Marmot is a remarkable animal and is endemic to Canada. One of the... One of only a small handful of mammals to occur in this country and nowhere else. Unfortunately, it's also critically endangered. In 2004, less than 30 remain in the wild! The Vancouver Island Marmot? Oh? Huh? Oh, critically endangered! What the hell? Critically imperiled! What the hell? Conservation status... Hold on, hold on. The Vancouver Island Marmot naturally occurs only in the high mountains of Vancouver Island in British Columbia. This particular marmot species is large compared to some other marmots and most other rodents. Marmots are the largest member of the Scuridae family, with the weights of adults varying from the... Blah, 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 blah. Marmata Vancouver Nessus is one of only... One of only five land mammals endemic to Canada. Really? Although endemic to Vancouver Island? Um, uh, Marmata now also resides successfully at several captive breeding centers across Canada, as well as several sites on Vancouver Island, at which local extinction was observed during the 1990s. Wait, they've already gone extinct once? Holy shit! There was an 80 to 90% loss in population. 
Okay, what's killing these things? Or what's happening to them? Oh my god, they live in such a small strip of land. Causes a marmot population to climb are numerous. Over the long term, periods involving thousands of years, climate changes have caused both increases and declines of open alpine habitats that constitute suitable marmot habitat. Replant and machine, I think you people look up groundhog for sale. Marmot and groundhog are the same animals. Oh? Wait, are they? Are groundhogs marmot? The groundhog. <gasps> oh! Holy shit! I'm gonna blow your guys' mind. I've had this argument with Papakin. Did you guys know bobcats are lynxes? Did you guys know? Hold on. Also, it's getting dark in here. Ah! Fucking sunlight! Oh shit! Bobcat! Lynx Rufus! Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that? I had this argument with Papakin. I was like, yeah, no, a bobcat and a lynx are the same thing. And he was like, no, they're not. They're two completely different cats. And I was like, nah, -uh. they are the same. They are the exact same. Usually lynx refers to like Eurasian lynx or like fucking is it cat Canada lynx? Canadian lynx? Whatever. But yeah, a bobcat is a lynx. I'm still like you. From what I remember, Big Ounce was the last one he kept and he stayed inside after getting testicular cancer. Ah. Hmm. Same as Groundhog. Yeah. Huh. Who knew? Who fucking knew? So a, mar a groundhog is a... Also known as a woodchuck. Hey chat, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Checkmate, atheist. All groundhogs are marmots, but not all marmots are groundhogs. Melius, do you think you? Next thing you'll tell me that a mountain lion, cougar, and puma are all the same thing. I'm gonna blow your fucking mind. I'm gonna blow your fucking mind. At least four. Hell yeah. Huh. Yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea there were any endangered marmot. Um... Hold on. Vancouver Island Marmot. Oh! Canada is home to hundreds of species at risk without meaningful conservation ac uh, action. Their decline will continue. The Vancouver Island Marmot is a ground squirrel only found on Vancouver Island, British Columbia. That one had a little spot on Zed. As an endemic species, Canada is solely responsible for ensuring its survival. Cartoon Foxes, thank you. Uh, without dedicated conservation efforts, Vancouver Island marmots might disappear, not just from Canada, but the entire planet. Well, yeah, because they're only in Canada. Idiot. When I was a kid, our family's favorite backpacking trail had an alpine lake with a cabin at the end. There was a marmot that decided to make its home in the pit under the outhouse, so we nicknamed him John. Hell yeah. John living in the John. Current threats of Vancouver Island marmots include predation and ecosystem modification. Oh. A variety of actions are underway to protect and recover the Vancouver Island marmot, including research and mo uh, monitoring, habit restoration, uh, captive breeding, and reintroductions. What? He looks so serious! Still, the species remains vulnerable to extinction with only approximately 200 individuals left this 2019. Well, bad news. Oh, wait. Oh, in 2004, fewer than 30 remained. Okay. Okay, so the population has gone up to 200 in 2019 versus 30 in 2004. I wonder, I wonder how much they've actually done. I wonder if these people have any videos or anything. Do you think, do you think they have any, do you think? Oh, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> but they don't have it, like, linked on their stuff. But I guess they do have it. The Marmot Recovery Foundation... Oh, what is this music? 
Control Saxon, what's the pink and what's pink and blue and frozen all over? A popsicle. I'm Adam Taylor with the Marmot Recovery Foundation. Hi, Adam Welcome Taylor. Mickey is handling our marmots today. Thank you for joining us for this unusual Round Dogs Day ceremony. Today, Malcolm is going to be asking Vancouver Island Violet for her prognostication. Violet is a Vancouver Island marmot, the only mammal species endemic to British Columbia. Sagar, Manet, thank you. Took a long time viewer, first time commenter. I hope you have an amazing day. I think you're the best. Thank you, thank you. Keep things as quiet as possible. First, Malcolm is going to sort this group of marmots. Into We're sorting the marmots, Chad! While he does that, here's a bit of background Holy shit. in our Vancouver Island marmots. The term groundhog typically means a Can you imagine having this job? Eastern North America. Marmota monarchs for the wood shop. I bet you they don't even get paid. In terms of oh my god, he's so stiff! She is a Vancouver Island marmot. Oh, oh put her back to sleep! He wants to go back to bed! Unfortunately, Vancouver That's Island a big rat dog. Her relatives are extremely rare. Vancouver Island marmots are the most endangered mammal in Canada. Aww. 20 years ago, she's so heavy. Oh, 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 man. Our mission is to recover the wild population. No! Not into the, the, the light! No! Moving wild marmots to ensure they have mating opportunities in natural She's habitat. so fucking tired! You monster! Man Isle Violet is part of our captive breeding program. Hold on, what other videos do they have? Groundhog Day. That's the one we watched. Release day for four endangered mar. If you get a marmot a biscuit! Hey, are you allowed to just go out here and feed us? Hold on, thank you. Search Trump the Groundhog, the OG Groundhog. Oh, Sven, thank you, Zeus, without Bobcats can say they're missing links. Ah! Step one is getting the marmot habitat. Holy shit. Holy shit. Chad. Chad, look at this. Chad, look at this. Holy shit. I'm not gonna thank you. Ahoy, Pippers. How the heck are you? I'm all right. I've got a really bad headache and I feel sick, but marmots are. Yes, keeping me... Nice. Keeping yeah, me here. Right. Jill, thank you. Chipmunks are also a species of squirrel, like marmots, and the scientific name of... The tribe is Marmotini! <laughs> I'd like a tall Marmotini, please. <clears throat> Chicken, not stirred. Setting up the feeders. It's an eight. My beetle, thank you. Yeah. Oh, fucking marmot feeders. Take some headache medicine, then I did. I took Advil. Mamakin brought home a oh, cold biscuits. that manifests as a headache and then a cold. Like a, like a real cold. It's like... She said, a few uh -oh. days of headache and then... And then I'll That's get like... Hardware. Actually sick. God hates taxes. Thank you. This is probably my favorite version of Pippi yet. What animal could you possibly become yeah, next? Never heard of you. Hi, Pippi. Uh, was my birthday last week? Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Nev! Happy, happy birthday! God damn. Sounds like flu. Uh, six streams this week? Probably some six streams this week. <laughs> Why does everyone in phase get sick? I very rarely get like actually sick. I just stress myself out until I get sick, which I thought was what was happening here, but no, I'm just actually fucking sick this time. It's an acoy beat, I think you. What the damn Pippo? What did I say about petting the wear barman? Another feeder, same challenges. Oh my fucking god. It's Mini Mart, thank you. Hey, Pippa, can you wish my friend Isaac a happy birthday? Belated birthday? He's a big fan. Happy belated, belated birthday, Isaac! <laughs> yeah, this one's pretty steep. God damn. I bet these people don't even get paid to do this. That's the funny part. A lot of these types of people, they don't even get paid. They do this voluntarily. They're like, you know what? I'm gonna hike four hours up a fucking mountain in the snow. In fucking sub-degree weather. So I can fill up the fucking marmot feeders. Jesus Christ. It's for the culture. For free, but I respect it. Yeah. The Sigma urge! The Sigma hey, urge to hike up a mountain to feed marmots! Down, just last up into these, uh, just at the base of this cliff. Cliff all along here, too. So oh my god, anything. that Canadian accent. Liquid Bismuth, thank you. Oh wow, look at this big fat chunk and marmot! The ones in the video are pretty cute too. What the fuck? Hiking is for fun. 
you know, they didn't even show, they didn't even show the marmot. They didn't actually show a marmot. What the hell? What the hell? Hold on. Release day for four endangered. They getting the fucking chopper out here? They're getting the goddamn chopper out for the marmot? Zagreb, I think you ever see a fisher. It's an exclusive animal to Canada. It looks like a bear with a raccoon tail or a little red panda. They only live in northern BC and Alberta. Fisher. I've heard of like kingfishers. The description almost sounds like a ringtail cat, which we have in the USA, but they're like desert animals, I think. Your tax dollars at work? I'm not fucking Canadian. My tax dollars aren't feeding no fucking marmots. They're sending bombs over to other fucking countries. I'd rather be goddamn Canadian right now. What the fuck, man? USA! USA! Never say that again. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again right fucking now. I wish my tax dollars went to the fucking local ecosystem and shit instead of fighting wars in other fucking countries. Holy shit, the fucking skills on this helicopter pilot. Holy shit. Did we get a fucking replay? What the fuck? Fucking cracks, chat. Holy shit. What the fuck, dude? Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Probably ex military? I wonder. Yeah. I served 40 years in the service. And now. I fly out to drop off fucking marmots. <laughs> I'll say Pepper, I don't like you. Hey Pippa, there's something different about you. Oh I know, you don't have your hair clips. True. Jesus Christ. I watch it, thank you. How are bombs and planes less expensive than feeding rodents? I don't know. Sounds like maybe there's something else going on there. <laughs> Jesus, I did two hours flying out marmot snacks! Ah! <gasps> Rodents eat too much! This is, this is fucking ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous, chat. God damn. What the fuck? Oh! And then he takes off? What? That's so cool. That is so fucking cool, though, chat. I wonder... I wonder why the helicopter? I wonder... What the helicopter actually did. But that is so fucking cool. Man just flew up to a fucking mountain. Landed. Did some marmot shit. And then fucked off. God damn. The marmots deserve the helicopter. Well, I guess you know if you donate, your money's actually going towards something. I remember one time... The, um... The school that I went to took us to, like, a... Disaster relief charity. And I found out... While I was there... At the very end... That it also doubled as, like, an evangelism program. So... They hype it up as though you're- you're donating for, like... Recovery efforts for, like, fucking, like, Haiti and shit, right? And then you find out they're building churches. Which I'm not, like, against, okay? But there's also a very big difference between donating for disaster relief and donating for them to build churches. There's a very big difference. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying 
when you hype it up as one thing and then at the end you find out it's different it's a little misleading and then they were doing the breakdowns of where your donation money goes and i was like these numbers don't add up we are missing a a a few percentage here because they show you, they show you this graph at the end. I don't remember exactly what it was. But it was detailing like, this percentage pays for like toothbrushes and shit. And I was like, the math here just does not add up. Where does, where does the, where does the other money go? And they're like, oh, to shipping containers to send everything over. Because it's so expensive to send everything over. Why don't you include that then? Why don't you include shipping costs in your fucking... Uh... <laughs> Why don't you include the shipping costs in your, in your fucking donation percentage numbers then? Huh, buddy? Huh? There you go. I don't think... I don't think this is actually going entirely to shipping. I think maybe you're leaving some stuff out here. I think there's a reason why you didn't include it as shipping in this pie graph. God. Josh Kerman, thank you. Hey, it's Pipkins Pippa. It's my birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Josh. Happy, happy birthday. God. Just a little pocket change. Just a little pocket change. Fucking Christ. Oh my God. The marmot is so cute. It's so cute. Look at this graph! Every time I do it makes me laugh. For the private jet. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. I just thought it was so... God. I think that was the first time I... grew genuinely suspicious of charities. And then I found out that there's like these websites uh, where you can check like the validity of certain charity. They're like charity rating sites and stuff. And I've heard, I've heard that those aren't terribly legit either. But I don't know. I don't know about those. And I also heard from people that worked for the Red Cross. That shit is sus, too. Now, nah, man. It's rough nowadays. It is rough nowadays. And see how they might be influenced by charities, maybe? I feel like an asshole, but I just, I just say no to pretty much everything now. If it's like, if it's like round up for charity, Usually I'll say yes if I, like, have the moment to, like, think about it. But my gut instinct nowadays, like, I, I went to, I went to Taco Bell with Mamakin and they wanted me to, like, round up for something. They're like, do you want to round up for charity? And I was like, no. Just instinct, <laughs> just instinctively. <laughs> I just immediately said no. <laughs> and Mamakin was like, why? It's just, it's just a couple of pennies, and I was like, I didn't even think about it. Buzz <laughs> thank you. Sadly, charities that exist for longer than five years tend to justify their continued existence. Can't let the gravy train stop. Mm. Shrimp Radio, thank you. Places that do round up for charity write it off on their taxes. Yeah. They're my penny. I just, I just didn't even think, man. <laughs> These marmots are cute, though. This place seems legit. I mean, if they're getting, like, helicopters and shit out to do marmot drop-offs. Like, that's pretty... These people seem pretty legit. Arclight, thank you, Pippa. You can't save them all, Mama Kin. Oh, man. Mama Kin was, was talking about, we have, like, some family members and stuff that sometimes don't take, like, the greatest care of their pets. And Mama Kim was like, Yeah, so I gave them this, this heat lamp. 
And I was like, or, and she was like, it's not what you would do. And I was like, no. <laughs> She was like, huh? And I was like, I, I wouldn't. And she started talking about how it's like the right thing to do and stuff. And it's like, nah, man. Nah, man. I think, I think there are people that truly need stuff, right? And people that can truly do good with the resources that they're given. When they're given resources, right? I don't think enabling is the same thing, right? Like... This is gonna sound like really fucked up, right? But if there's, if there's like... A shelter out there that abuses dogs, right? Or neglects dogs or whatever, right? And they're saying like, oh, we'll have to like put the dogs down if we don't get this amount of money or whatever. Or we wouldn't have to put these dogs down or we could do better if we have more money or whatever, right? I think, I think those kinds of places, ultimately, you just have to say, like... Like, it's sad, it's fucked up, but like, you just can't, you just can't feed into that, right? Yeah, it's emotional blackmail. You can't, you can't give in to that. Are some animals going to suffer and die that could have potentially been saved by your dollar? Or your donations, or whatever? Yes. But how many, how many future lives can you can you potentially prevent by not giving into it now you know like if they have to shut down because they can't manage operating costs or people that get pets that don't take very good care of them or whatever you know if you don't if you don't give into it eventually they stop versus it's a gamble yeah it is it is a bit of a gamble but I feel like my resources are better spent on people that are proven to do their best. You know what I mean? Hmm. If they mention it once or twice, I'm fine with it because uh, that's what they are there for. But when it becomes more about how much money they're getting or how much they are helping. Pepsi, thank you. If you think that's cool, look up parachute beavers. Parachute beavers. Nothing wrong with cold logic. Mm. Large shipping crate. Into the holding crate they go. What is this? Whoops. Get back in there, Get old girl. Get back That's in there. A good load. A load of beaver for the mountain. Hell yeah. In preparing for the operation. Beaver must be sorted for even size and weight, with one pair of beaver for each huh? box. Is this gonna end poorly? Ear tags are attached for future information. Bulbar. That's why, thank you, just joined the stream. I'm loving the new model, quite the into upgrade the from the old duty model. Excuse Here me? Are ready for that flight back into the mountain? OSU hates this, by the way? Uh-oh. The drop crates are loaded into the airplane. Huh? What is... what is... what is this? Parachutes are attached to cargo lines. Are they testing the out... ...are stacked in rows along the waist of the plane. Parachutes? Ten on beavers? Load, Twenty beaver ready for the flight to Mountain Meadows. Are they re... are they relocating? The beavers? It's warping the... the <gasps> Are they dropping beavers on fucking enemy territory to dam up the rivers and shit? Ready for the drop. Now into the air and down they swing. Down to the ground near a stream or a lake. Yes! Oh my god. The most unusual and novel trip ends for Mr. Beaver. Fucking tactical beavers. What the fuck? What the fuck, chat? He's on his way now. Dodge, his I think nose he... and his instinct tell him where to find the water. The parachutes are probably There's on the crate. There's room here for a new home. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Twenty beaver.
Ready for the flight. Drives and they use pigeons to guide missiles as kamikaze pilots and chickens to time nuclear landmines. Oh my god. Into the air and down they swing. Down to the in America. The history of beavers in America. Oh my Future god. Future overhunting for their fur. Beaver numbers in America were reduced oh from tens god. of millions down to just 100,000 by 1900. And as scientists the witnessed the habitats suffering from their the absence wild. and realized the potential for future damage, the protection of beavers became a priority. There's actually a lot of controversy with, with wolves in Yellowstone. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, so, we'll say, how do I word this? Um, there's like some ecologist blogs that I used to pay attention to and they had some pretty spicy takes about why wolves should not have been reintroduced to Yellowstone and basically it comes down to Yellowstone did not actually need wolves and it was the Yellowstone National Park trying to up the tourism numbers and that pretty much summarizes it which honestly to me sounds pretty uh Believable. Zara, thank you. I love a good video about beavers and still thank you. What did you do to my rabbit, Gopher? But it was never going to be as simple as just leaving the beavers alone. As people moved out of cities and into rural areas of Idaho, they came into direct conflict with the beavers already living there. And soon, the state government was flooded with complaints about, well, mostly flooding. Around this well, time, the standard practice for any wildlife complaints would just be to kill or scare off said wildlife. It's really cheaper you. Hi, and my easier than trying to get come up with a Happy solution birthday! After all. But the Idaho Fish and Game Department knew of the beaver's role in creating and maintaining wetland habitats, as well as stabilizing the water supply for people. Yeah. So instead of just killing the animals, they opted to move 76 beavers from these conflicted areas into more remote habitats. Oh. Translocating animals around this time had a very high mortality rate due to the stress of the process, and it's particular. So they put them in a fucking helicopter? A plane? They put them in a fucking plane and parachuted them? Huh? It's really difficult for beavers, which need to be constantly cooled and watered to survive the heat for long periods of time. Into the holding crate they go. Whoops. What? Get back in there, old girl. That's better. What the fuck? Live beaver for so new I think water. he was the marmot? Previously, Nip the beavers would be taken through multiple truck rides before being oh. taken to the harder to access release sites by horse. Okay, so this makes sense. it's easy to see how the stress often proved too much. With such right, a high chance nice argument. of failure, Ecologist, it was why don't you go back, and new why don't you back that needed. up with the source? I, they did. There was like a... See, this is, I'm not qualified for this discussion, all right? But it was it was people that are way more like terminally invested in ecology than I am and knew way more about the parks and shit than me. Uh, that had these, maybe I can find it. Hold on. Um... Why wolves should not have been reintroduced to Yellowstone? Let's see if we can find some arguments. Ah, Sandra, thank you. Marmots are just a wolf and beavers. Uh, it is what this and you wolves are needed to deal with the rise of chronic wasting disease. Only they can eat contaminated meat and not spread the prion. Hmm. See, that's what Papakin said as well. Something along those lines. Like, I've heard a bunch of positive stuff, and what I did hear is that they were there to cut down on the overpopulation. We were wrong about wolves, and here's why. Wolf restoration. Maybe this will discu discuss it? 25 years ago, we changed the path of Yellowstone National Park for the better. One action changed the soil, the growth of plants and grasses, and the diversity and populations of wildlife throughout the park. It even changed the way the rivers flow, and all we did was bring back wolves. I think this one might be in favor of it. On January 12th, 1995, a motorcade of two park service patrol cars and a truck hauling a horse trailer made their way toward Yellowstone National Park. They stopped at the Stone Roosevelt Arch so they could take photos under the inscription, Yellowstone National Park, created by the Act of Congress on March 1st, 1872, for the benefit and enjoyment of the people. Inside the trailer were eight gray wolves from Canada. Getting them there was one of our most extraordinary achievements to right the wrongs that occurred 70 years earlier. In a little over a decade from 1914 to 1926, we eliminated 136 wolves that lived within the park. 
This was before we understood the connectedness of wildlife, before we knew the value of in intact ecosystems, before we knew about climate change and biodiversity and loss. Wiping out an apex predator in the park turned out to be a major mistake. 70 years without wolves changed Yellowstone. Songbirds left, elk and coyotes became overpopulated, and beavers disappeared. Elks overgrazed the land and trees such as willow and aspen. Without those trees, songbirds began to decline, beavers could no longer build their dams, and streams began to erode and degrade the condition willow trees needed to grow. Without beaver dams and shade from trees and plants, water temperatures were too high for cold water fish. In 1973, the Endangered Species Act was passed, and the gray wolf was one of the first species listed as endangered, mandating protection and recovery planning. The long path to recovery in the United States for the wolf had begun, but it was a slow one. It took decades for Americans to come around on wolf reintroduction. Defenders of wildlife played a critical role in the reintroduction of gray wolves to the northern Rockies. Defenders advocated for return of wolves in the midst of proposals, scoping periods, environmental impact statements, public comment periods, and draft rulemakings. Many years of advocacy was needed to change people's misperceptions to ensure the future of the wolf in the U.S. The jazz is killing me! I enjoy it! That- listen, I enjoy it. That's all the negative, thank you. If you are a marmot, of course you're a deep wolf <laughs> Hmm... The changes in the park have been exciting and significant. Wolf reintroduction caused unanticipated change in Yellowstone. It rebalanced elk and deer populations, allowing the willows and aspen to return to the landscape. The end to overgrazing stabilized riverbanks and rivers recovered and flowed in new directions. Songbirds returned, as did beavers, eagles, fox, and badgers. And while the restoration of wolves in Yellowstone has cost about 30 million in total, wolf ecotourism brings in 35 million annually. Okay, so I guess this is where that point came from is the tourism does bring in quite a bit of money, but if it cost... It has cost 30 million total. I wonder what that cost is. Implications of harvest on the boundaries of protected areas for large carnivore viewing opportunities. The desire to see free-ranging large carnivores in their natural habitat is a driver of tourism in protected areas around the globe. However, large carnivores are wide-ranging and subject to human-caused mortality outside protected area boundaries. The impact of harvest, trapping, or hunting on wildlife viewing opportunities has been subject of intense debate and speculation. A quantitative analysis have been lacking. We examine the effect of legal harvest of wolves along the boundaries of two North American national parks, Denali and Yellowstone, on wolf viewing opportunities. Hmm. Funding. So what would, what actually costs money here? Ballcraft, thank you. This article was written by wolves! So a tourist get dragged out of her car by a tiger. <gasps> there is a one video of the woman who she gets out of her car because she's fighting with her with her husband. And then her mother-in-law jumps out to try and save her because she's getting attacked by a tiger. And the bitch that got out of her car originally that was fighting with her husband survived and her mother-in-law died saving her. That was so fucked up. That's so fucked up. Data Rated, thank you. I volunteer at the museum and the Idaho Historical Society has a coloring page for the Geronimo the Beaver on its website and an exhibit in the museum in Boise. Aww. No, I clip, thank you. Journal abstracts. Now, this is a source. Hmm. I dreamed I got eaten by a tiger recently. I'm sure there's some esoteric meaning to this. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. I wonder. I guess I'll have to do some digging to try and find the people that were complaining about wolves in Yellowstone. I wonder, do you think there are people that are contrarians? Just for the sake of being a contrarian in the field of ecology? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. For sure, definitely. Because this is all positive. Yellowstone wolves bad. Hmm. 18 big pros and cons of wolf introduction. Why we're so divided over saving wolves. Fact of eviction. I can't even remember where I used to see all this shit. List of pros of wolf introduction. Okay, let's see the cons. Wolves can have detrimental impact on agricultural economies. Wolf relocation comes at an expense to taxpayers. Wolves can harm the livelihoods of people where they hunt. Wolves can divide grazing herds and populations. Wolves face a patchwork of inconsistent legal protections. 
Wolford location could add even more animals to a region. Wolves have a history of attacking humans under specific conditions. Wolves from other species are sometimes brought into the region instead. The goal of wolf relocation is to restore the natural species to its former environment because the exact species may no longer be in the area. Some projects have taken the idea of bringing in a different wolf instead. Mexican wolves were even brought into Yellowstone National Park in the 1980s to help restore the local population. When we bring the incorrect species into a region, there's always a chance that the results which occur become unpredictable. Is anti-wolf crazies? Is that a thing? Are there people that are just specifically like very anti-wolf? Other than farmers? Hmm. Wolves are destroying elk populations. Fiction. About well, moose populations. Wolves perpetrate sports. Surplus killings. Hmm. Vegetarians hate wolves. They have antis for just about anything. People who live near them. It just sounds stupid. Mexico mentioned? <laughs> Notification, thank you. Vampires! Let me check Google Scholar. Everything has an anti in that? Yes, I have an anti and I want hate ivory. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Fucking marmots. Fucking marmots, chat. Okay, we originally went on the black exotic. Our exotic black, exotic black TV. I wonder if there's any other information about this channel out there. Whoa, bitten by a baby, look. Chat, just give me one second. Just give me one second. Aww, it's so cute. It's so cute, Chad! Look at it! It's so tiny! And its eyes are so cute! It's just a little guy! It's just a little fella! Meow. Oh my god! Are they doing some fishing? Are they fishing here? What's going on here? A shark is too close to the crotch area! Well, I guess we know that he ends up biting him. But... He just looks so tired! Oh! oh. Did he bite him then? I hope we get to see him, like, actually chomp. He's just vibing, he's just vibing. Lemon stealing shark! They're so tiny! Oh my god! Chad! Chad, I want one! <laughs> I want one! I want one! It's so cute! I bet they're terrible pets. I bet they're... I bet they're a nightmare to keep as a pet. No, Pippa! Oh, 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 I thought I was gonna get him there! I keep waiting for it. I keep waiting for it. Nope! Oh, oh! That guy's new in town. What? Oh, oh, he had butted the shoe. Oh! I hear sharks are hard to take care of. I only ever see like leopard sharks. Uh. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! He fucking nibbled him. He fucking got him, Chad! Oh my god! Oh my god! He can he'll never recover. He'll never. Oh, it's so over! Oh, it's so fucking over! Oh my god! That was so... That was... Whoa. That was so fucked up, chat. That was so dark. That was so grim. Holy shit. Oh my god. Blood everywhere. Horrible. Horrifying. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Okay, it's not a marmot. It's not a marmot. Goron stream. Oh. Oh man, we're about to watch some more vicious predators rip open something.
Whoa, wait, there's so many. There's so <laughs> oh, he's so happy. He's so fucking happy. <laughs> Feed him. Feed him. Feed him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Cute. They're so fucking cute. They're so fucking cute. Oh my god. Such good table manners. They have such good manners. Oh, give them seconds. Oh, look at them. Oh no, there's none left. Oh no. No. Thank you. The cruelest prank God ever pulled was making otters so cute yet making them such terrible pets. True. Oh! The cries of agony. <laughs> the absolute misery in their voices. Oh my God. Oh, he's suffering. He's suffering, you bastard. Give him more. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I? He's starving. Oh my god, he's starving. <laughs> Look at him crap with his little hands. Oh, he's on the table. Hey, hey, hey. Get off the fucking table. You're not. There we go. You sit like a little person. You be. She takes. That. She take she's devious! She's a devious little bastard! Get off that table! You're not allowed! You're not allowed on that table! You're not allowed! Oh god! Head off! Jesus Christ! Hannah's losing her goddamn mind, chat. Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Hannah Steele. What the fuck? <laughs> Hannah runs wild. Become ungovernable. Hannah, there are rules. Professor Kodoro won't eat him. It's too big. <laughs> Professor Kodoro has manners. He's a refined gentleman. He likes his cut up into little pieces. Meanwhile, Hannah... Hannah's a little shit. Oh my god! Look at how Professor Kodoro eats, chat. He's so refined. Look at the Hannah. Pathetic. Pathetic. Oh my god. Oh, you just had a piece! You just had a piece! Look at her! The duality of honor! <laughs> give her the whole thing! She needs it! She needs the whole thing! Just give it to her! Oh my god. Hannah <laughs> is pure green! Hannah is so greedy! This woman! <laughs> oh my god. Hannah is such a complainer. She is. No! No! Hannah! <laughs> never fool, never fool, never fool. Oh, look at their little... Look at... The, oh my god, they have like a pool. Wow! Sick flip! Oh my god. Hannah knows what she wants. 
She's in paradise. She's so happy. She's so happy. Hana, those bites are huge. Hana acts like she's fucking starving, but look at all that fat. Look at how fat this one. Hana! Hana, stop! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my fucking god. Hana! She's going sicko mode. Ah! Oh! No! You thief! Those noises! The noises are so intense. Oh, little square! Oh my god. Hana. Hana, share. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. She's scarfing them, chat. She's insane. She'll fight you for her. She Sharing is caring. Hana is not fucking sharing. I'm actually showing this to wild otters. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Greedy Tech. Thank, thank you. I also go crazy for salmon. Totally understandable, Hannah. Jesus Christ. A fucking lunatic. Jesus Christ. She's just scooping. She's five times more than the professor. That's insane. That's insane. Look at these crazy fucking bastards. Look at that face. That is the face of a fat fuck that does not care. Cecilius. Thank you. Have you seen the short videos of the Shiba Inu getting the spa treatment? I have. And then there's the there's the Hollow Life version. <laughs> Jesus Christ, precious little creatures. I deranged. I deranged. Okay. That being said, I must cut this short. I'm sorry. I really do not feel well. As fun as this was, the time did absolutely fly by, but I feel like shit. I am going to go hunt down some Dayquil. And... If there is none, I'm gonna order some. <laughs> and... Try and eat something. Feel better. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! This was really fun, though. How do you guys feel about doing more streams where we just browse the internet? <laughs> the internet is so much fun! Do you guys want to just browse the internet and we can go from, like, YouTube video and a bizarre article to... random forum? Arclight, thank you! Great stream, Pippa! I was like, have your streams, to be honest. Pippa pet streams. React streams! It's kind of like react streams, but we're not just, like, sitting reacting to videos. We're exploring the internet. Sounds solid? Hmm. Can you do it as a marmot as well? Maybe. We did get a little distracted from the marmots. Alrighty. I am going to refresh and pick somebody to raid and verify that it's you. Okay. Ah, they changed it! They changed! They changed the YouTube! I believe in you. This is fun. Let's do it again sometime. Get well soon. Thank you. Quid, thank you. Good stream. This was peak of me tubing and nothing will ever compare. Thank you, thank you. Drink water. I definitely need to drink some more water. Uh, Darn, thank you. Good night, Pippa. Hope you feel better. Thank you, thank you. Uh, who is alive? I wonder. We could raid Amy. New university student housing. What the hell? Why does Auburn Universe hold on? Chat before University Auburn Student Housing. Hold on. This just popped up on my thing to raid. Why is this a why oh oh is it like the construction progress? Are they they're live streaming the construction? Okay. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, if people live here, this is very weird. This, this would be very weird to do if people actually live here. Hopefully nobody actually lives here yet. Why though? I don't know. Why is this a live stream? Yeah, who is the intended audience for this? Is this just like a security cam? Construction of new university student housing phase one construction. For more details on this project, I... This is so random. There's people walking around. Wait, there's like... Wait, Chad, do you guys see this? There's like kids sat here watching. What 
what is this? What the fuck is new university student housing phase one? But well, why is it live screen streamed? This is so weird. This is this is this is so fucking weird, chat. Oh, Moonshine is playing SCP with Kirsha, Nano, and Baxter. Toss a raid their way. Alrighty, not sure what that is. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, if you didn't like the Marmots, and if you like that Marmot Rescue Place, the Marmot Recovery Foundation, their website name is marmots.org. So you can adopt a Marmot. Hell yeah. Dun 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 dun! Alrighty. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name's Pepkin Pepper! And I will see you guys tomorrow! Oh, it's a grinch! Till the fluffles away, Tilda! Till the fluffles away, Tilda! Till the fluffles away, Tilda! <laughs>